How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Lieutenant Dan, with another college film breakdown. We're looking at Justin Jones, another uh, guy that talked to the Atlanta Falcons, or at least has been rumored to talk to the Atlanta Falcons during the Senior Bowl. Uh, they got him listed at 6'2", 310, and I've seen a lot of, got a, a lot of different things going on here, uh, a lot of different measurables going on so I, I i would take this with a grain of salt only game tape we have on him is arizona state that was their bowl game uh georgia native three-star recruit uh, according to 24 7 sports or tw yeah 24 7 sports african-american studies major played 10 games as a freshman uh, missed spring ball due, in, due to an injury started three of 10 games uh, played as a sophomore started all 13 games played as a, as a junior best friends with uh, Bradley Chubb since eighth grade decided to play at the same college together I accepted invitation to play at the senior bowl um, had from what you could say was an, a, a productive 2017 season and the only tape obviously that we have of Mr. Jones is this one right here uh, where we are going to be looking at Arizona State uh, and NC State in their bowl game. Uh, this is uh, things that I, things that I've seen about Justin Jones. He is the run stuffer, and I'm going to look at it some more film. Uh, huge spoiler alert! But I'm going to look at some more film on DJ Hill, the other defensive tackle, actually next to him, and. BJ is the pass rusher, and Justin Jones is the run stuffer. It's thunder and lightning. Boom, boom. You got two guys with responsibilities. They know who they are, and they don't play around. Let's watch. At the top there. Gets chopped down. Man, I hate, I hate when offensive linemen, and I mean, it's just a scheme thing, but I hate when offensive linemen chop you, man. Like, seriously, just go low on this nonsense yeah just cutting you down ah, it's just that's out that's aggravating that is aggravating lost a little ground there made the play let's look at that one more time he's losing some ground right here you're gonna see him but he makes up for it he gets back into the play makes the tackle with him Comes a little late in there and gets some pressure, so that's good. Good use of the uh, the underneath arm. You're going to see him here. Um, he's going to put that right arm up underneath the right arm of the guard. You're going to see it right there. And he's just going to drive through and make contact with his left arm. Not the cleanest tackle, but definitely slows the running back down it's weird they put him uh they might have him in contain i'm not gonna i'm not gonna guess nc state's uh ability to do stuff let's see him attacking the quarterback here gets onto the outside here puts a little pressure in somebody's face causes an incompletion good stuff don't think they were expecting him to do that Maybe it was a, yep, uh, good, get off of the block here, let's get off that block and go make a tackle, good job, good job. Let's see, we're getting off that, he's quick, he's a quick man, let's go back and look at this one more time, he is a quick man. Get on this block right here, identifies the screen, makes his way outside. Not as quick as that running back, but definitely a quick man. Wonder what he's going to run at the combine. Wonder what he's going to run at the combine. You can only think about the outside over there. Spying the QB. They may have asked him to do some spy work as well. Yep, identify that screen. They went to the opposite side. He's still chasing a dude down. Wow, he's quick. You are a quick man, Justin. 310 pounds, and you are chasing that dude down. Way to go. Good job to stay in there, Justin. Good job. You know that man can run. 
I'm seeing some serious um, time lapses in between when Justin's on the field and when Justin's off the field. Seeing a lot of time lapses in between. Where is he on this play? Gonna take the nose up here. Look at him throw a man off. Let's throw him off. Make that tackle. Great job, Justin. Good job. They try to cut him again. They try to cut this man again. They're trying to go low on him again. Look at that. Good job shrugging that off, by the way, and getting to the outside. We're only watching film of Justin. Get out of here. Woo! Put that man in his place. Watch this fight. Holy moly. Watch Justin right here. and He's about to blow someone up. JJ's about to blow him up. Boom. <laughs> I love it. I like to see good football. I like to see someone get compact and just blow somebody up. Watch it again. Bam! Just right up, right up in there in the chest. One more time. Mmm. Yep. Good job. Mmm. You see this? They they try to go low on him again. And try to go low on him again and he's not having any of that now what you got to do here and he's 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 trying he's on the op he's on the opposite side of where the hole is going to be but running back here is running towards this hole right here that's being created he's on the opposite side so he's trying to get a better angle into either this area right here or collapse in and push his own guy back inside Let's see what Justin does yeah he kind of pushes his own man back inside again to try to get him helps out with the tackle here mm-hmm getting smart towards the end of the towards the end of the game here where was he on this play towards the end of the game here he's getting smart and when they try to cut him he's just sidestepping that nonsense now I'll say this much he goes in with the shoulder to lean, and I try to tell uh, young defensive tackles, I know I'm not a coach, I know I'm not an expert scout, I know I've been only doing this for about maybe two years watching this kind of stuff, but usually when I see defensive tackles, linebackers, defensive ends, um, safeties, strong safeties trying to crash in and get a block, they use their shoulder. Now, I see this play. He may not be incredibly using his shoulder, but as we keep going on, yeah, okay, good. I was about to say, don't use your shoulder to block, okay, or to drive in a particular area unless you're trying to bend inside and, and get a sack or a tackle for loss. In this particular case, he puts an arm up under, and he's taking that particular space. And you're going to see the, whether that be a safety or linebacker, you can see the two of them, one, two, right there. They're taking their gaps. Thing is, is that the run, these two guys are taking the same gap, kind of. And Justin's kind of been pushed out of the play here. He took his gap. He did his job. The inside run is completely gone. Um, which, again, I keep saying, Justin. Justin Jones is the space eater, the guy that's going to uh, get up inside and he's going to terrorize double teams and uh, he's going to get interior pressure. And B.J. Hill's going to be more of a pass rusher. I could almost say that B.J. Hill probably will. Uh, well, we'll, watch, we'll, we'll get to that point. We'll get to that point when we watch that tape. But Justin Jones eats that space up and the run goes towards the outside and you have miscommunication here with a linebacker and safety or two linebackers, whoever's there, and they allow that run to happen. I like the quick get off of the line right here. Watch him, boom, make contact quick and first. Hands first. So he's got hands on the offensive tackle or offensive guard. He has the initial contact. He has the ability to make the next move. Um, you don't want an offensive lineman to get his hands on you and then control what you do from that point on. So this defensive tackle and Justin Jones puts his hands on. That's why great quick burst off the line is, is what NFL teams are looking for. Great quick burst off the line. Justin Jones gets immediate contact first with the offensive lineman. Um, the offensive lineman's arms are like T-Rex right now. They're shoved back into his chest. 
and Justin has the leverage right now. And then he just kind of fights in and looks towards the backfield to see if he has contained the play. And it goes to the opposite direction and gets stopped for a short game. So Justin did his job. They, they definitely show uh, JJ here. He's just kind of, um, ooh, uh, that's holding. That is holding. They definitely, uh, quickly before I get into this next play, they definitely show a lot of Justin getting um, uh, zone looks, kind of spy looks on the quarterback. They don't want the quarterback to take off for big runs. I don't know who this quarterback is, but obviously from Arizona State, Pac-12, they have a lot of quarterbacks that have mobility, and he's coming from a conference in the ACC that also has a lot of running quarterbacks as well so Justin may be asked in some instances to spy in short space and uh, lead them to linebackers and here he makes great penetration and this is just plain holding um, you're holding the man's arm back still holding him and they didn't call this ridiculous <laughs> ridiculous I've seen him get pushed off the line a couple of times. This, he stands nice and tall. Doesn't lose, lose a lot of space, and I love that. Fossil Lombardi and I talk about that all the time, about how we will take defensive tackles who um, are able to stand their ground but don't get a heck load of penetration. We will take the defensive tackles that stand their ground and don't lose anything. Don't get pancaked. Don't get pushed back really far back into their own side of the field. We'll take those guys over the guys that are trying to get penetration on every play and don't have great gap integrity. Um, and Bosch is an offensive line guy. So that's saying something. Yeah, and those short yardage situations, he's he's a big man. He see he takes his he takes his uh he takes his gap assignment, he gets pushed out. And now it's up to the linebacker and the safety here to uh, crash down and stop this from happening. And uh, they just kind of get pushed off. Let's see. Where was he on that play? Whew. Man. What is that? What is that quarterback trying to do? I'm not watching film on this man, but this man tried to kill himself, get into that end zone. Goodness. So, what did I see about Justin Jones that I that I liked in this film, and and what can we expect of Justin going forward? Well, I looked at his Senior Bowl tape, or at least the coverage of the Senior Bowl, and went back and forth on it a couple of times, and here's what I figured out. Justin has some good pass rush moves, at least from the tape that I have available to me. He has some good pass rush moves um, for a defensive tackle. He has some good penetration and good off the line movement. Um, he's got deceptive speed. There's something very interesting that I need to put out there about Justin Jones is that he's quick. He's very, very quick. We saw in this film breakdown that he ran down a couple of, of running backs, almost got him too. Um, Penetration-wise, I didn't see a lot from this film, but in the Senior Bowl tape, I was able to see him uh, get a couple of penetrating um, attacks at quarterbacks and at running backs, and he did well for himself. Justin Jones, at least from the two bits of tape that I've seen, this one and the Senior Bowl tape, I can say that he's going to be a solid addition to whatever team picks him up Depends on the scheme that you're wanting. I, I think that he's probably a really good one technique or three technique. I would almost say that maybe a possible three tech move would be the best for him. Constantly let him go and play at three tech. Let him to let him attack. I want to see more of that. If I could find more tape on him attacking, that would be a lot of fun. Um, but otherwise, I like Justin Jones for the guy, that, the stout body that he is. I saw a couple times where he got pushed off the ball, and I saw plenty of times where he stood his ground. He's going to be a solid player in the next level. He really, really is. He's going to be a solid player on the next level, 
and I think a solid addition to any NFL team that picks him up. I wish him the best of luck going into the combine. I hope that he is able to help his draft stock. Hopefully he can get into those um, top three rounds. But Justin Jones, uh, NC State defensive tackle, um, I like him. I think he's good. I, I, I think that he uh, I think that he flashed a couple of times on the screen here for me, and then the Senior Bowl tape pretty much re reassured to me who he is, which is the uh, the run stuffer, the big body. Uh, de definitely want to say that in no way am I trying to compare him to another player, but if there's a game that uh, or or a bit of film that reminds me uh, of of his tape. It is uh, Grady Jarrett's tape. Grady Jarrett out of Clemson and and Justin Jones out of NC State look eerily familiar when we're talking about guys that they were good at stuff in the run. They were powerful guys. They got beat a couple of times on tape, but they were able to affect the pass rusher and they were able to go out there and stop runs and get tackles for loss. I know we didn't get to see a lot about it of that in this tape I know we didn't get to see a heck load of that in this tape but I promise you that um, if you add Justin Jones he may not be Grady Jarrett but he will be a solid addition but the tape comparison is very similar remember tape is not everything we saw that with Marcus Davenport and his tape um, when he was playing in college and then his senior bowl game that he actually played was much much more important and he went out there and performed his practices were not great but his 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 performance on the field was what mattered I think if you're getting Justin Jones you're getting a solid addition to your team I cannot stress that enough thank you guys for watching this collegiate film breakdown of Justin Jones NC State defensive tackle uh, versus Arizona uh, we are going to be doing a BJ Hill uh, defensive tackle out of NC State uh, film breakdown if I can find some film on him please do leave a like sub to the channel if you haven't already subbed please do go into the comment section and tell me what you thought of the film of Justin Jones uh, defensive tackle out of NC State um, please do go share this content with everyone on all your social media platforms if you enjoyed it so thank you so much I appreciate you guys and your time and I will meet you again on another film breakdown video from the collegiate scene. Take it easy. Rise up. Peace out.